Orcas, also known as killer whales, are in the news this week for a few reasons, actually. Big week for orca. Um, But the first thing we're going to look at is that for the first time, they've been documented giving gifts to humans, (laughs) gifts of seafood. So I'm looking at a picture of one now. Uh, This is an orca offering a piece of liver. Other pictures have orca coming and bringing uh, rays or birds over to people. Yeah, like delivery drivers. Yeah, a bit. No app involved. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But they are bringing food, dead items. We haven't ordered them, but they're bringing them along and offering them to humans. Yeah, a range of different items. Um, There's a video of uh, a couple of these killer whales, orca, uh, and you can see them come up to the biologists filming them um, and release like a dead bird. It's a guillemot or a muir, as they call them in North America. Um, And yeah, just dropping it there in the water for the for the human. They're quite incredible to see. Um, and so these are food items. These are seabirds and things that the whales themselves are feeding on, uh, picking off the surface. And they seem to think, we've had all we need. I'll, I'll take this over to those other animals in a boat over there. Is that what's going on? Yeah, they, they're using it to interact with, uh, with the humans, they've, mm. they've noticed. Um, that video of the guillemot was the first time that the biologist, he's called Jared Towers, um, he's at a marine research firm called Bay Cytology. It's the first time he'd seen that sort of thing mm. um, in his career. And then it happened again when a killer whale came up and offered him a, a, a harbour seal calf. Oh, Yummy. that's grim. Yeah. grim. It is big. I, you start wondering if there's something specific about him where the orca think, like, that guy really needs a good meal. you think it happens on meal? the street to him and people run <laughs> after him with flowers? Or cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, maybe. But the, the point of this is that it is a big deal for a wild animal mm. to interact with another species in this way. Wild animal. OK, so all this does seem to suggest maybe that killer whales or orca are capable of um, like a generalised altruism, mm. like kindness. It's mm. almost yeah. gift giving. Yeah. And then, you know, th- th- there seems to be a lot else going on here. They're, they're curious, they're bold, they're coming over. Um, are they recognising our sentience? No, apparently they're notoriously curious. Right, orca. OK. Um, and it's different from if you think about your cat bringing you a dead mouse. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, um, I mean, in that case, we have an established relationship. The cat mm. lives in the house. But this is this is a, a killer, a wild orca and a random, ran, essentially random human. And I think that's what's really instructive about the, what we're talking about here is that it, it challenges what we think about the inner experience mm. that you're getting at there of, yeah. of non-humans. And I spoke to Laurie Marino about this. She's a marine biologist at New York University and president of the Whale Sanctuary Project. My initial opinion about these sharing behaviors is that it is generalized from the sharing behavior they show with each other, that is, mothers and calves, family members. This is an extension of that behavior to another species. And to the extent that the sharing represents a warm and positive engagement, then I would think the same kind of interpretation can be offered here. The orcas are providing a gift, and they are doing so as a way to build rapport with the humans. They are likely also entertaining ideas about why the humans do not normally accept these gifts. So in my view, this is similar to the way dolphins might protect humans in the sea from sharks, or even help swimmers having difficulty staying afloat. They do this with each other, and they generalize it. And it's part of their sophisticated level of sociality. So, you know, there's been quite a lot of news in recent years about attacks, so-called attacks on boats from Orca, especially around sort of Spain and, and Portugal. Um, do you think this study has any any sort of light to shed on that, about what's really going on there? Mm. Are they just being curious rather than kind of vengeful? Yeah, well, I think so. Um, it doesn't look like that those attacks are revenge attacks on humans as much as that narrative did mm. get picked up. So the, the orca only attack sailboats, attack sailboats mm. and not ones with motorised um, components. So it, it, some people say it may be like a sort of extreme kind of back scratch they're trying to get. <laughs> yeah. But they bite the, the, the rudder as well mm. of, um, of these boats. So... Um, May, it may, it's a bit different to simple curiosity, mm. but it does seem to be exploratory of some kind. And just to be clear, I, I did look this up. No wild orca has ever killed a human. So mm. we don't think they're trying to lure us in with gifts, right? We, we don't think that, but we can't rule out that this Machiavellian okay. uh, side <laughs> of it because they do that with other species. Right. So they use fish to lure birds 
and then they kill the bird. Oh, I did. So okay. they do so do there something is a parallel similar. There, yeah. Maybe. So, uh, but as you say, no wild orcas have ever been documented killing a, a human. So that it looks unlikely, but that they do recommend that if a, if a wild orca offers you a comes up and offers you a gift don't accept it just say no yeah, yeah. <laughs> um okay so uh, from that to the even more ridiculous what about this news i've seen about orcas kissing they're calling it tongue nibbling yeah um this has been seen in wild orca in norway um but apparently has also sometimes been seen in captive whales yeah um french kissing of in or- orca i saw it as well and mm. uh, yeah i mean putting your tongue in the mouth of a killer whale is not probably a recommended thing to do um uh, but it's only just been reported this week so we don't know much about it but some suggestions already that it yeah obviously it's some kind of social communication social bonding just like we might right okay and it well it could be a form of begging like you see with birds when Mm. they you know clatter against each other's bills uh trying yeah Yeah. trying to stimulate food food transfer transfer or um someone even said it could be grooming but you know. It takes me back to all of those cringe explanations we've had over the years about why did our kissing evolve, like to stay cool and all of this kind of nonsense. <laughs> yeah, maybe they just like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe they just like it. <laughs>